about quarter tone music theory as played on a quarter tone guitar. Um, you need to learn the new scales because when you're on a quarter tone guitar, um, you have a fret in between every normal fret. So I have um, what, what would look like the normal guitar tablature for a minor pentatonic, which I draw here. And that would be played like... handed so um, I'm drawing the way a right hander would normally look at it. So root note of a pentatonic scale, the minor third up one string, and that would be a fourth up from the root note, fifth up from the root note, seventh up from the root note, octave. Okay. So, da, 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 da. So, what quarter tones are good for is for adding in some new stuff into the scale repertoire. Where you kind of you don't really have scales anymore so much as you have gluing together little pieces of scales. Okay, minor diatonic scale. Um, normally, you're doing. thing is when you're looking at my fingers on my guitar you gotta double the number of frets that you can't okay. um, so you ha what you'll notice there's a whole tone go a whole tone, whole tone down from octave to get your seventh, and a whole tone up to get your, um, it would call that um, a major second, right, which is a whole tone, whole tone from the word a major second, so you get, So in order to do a whole tune on a quarter tone guitar, you don't you don't go up two frets, you go up four. Um, so you just basically multiply the number of frets times two all over the place. So go up by four frets in your quarter tone. So four fourths is one whole tone. Right? And in a, in a half tone, um, which is also called a minor second, is two fourths. So it's a, You got two fours that you go up by, and you got four fours, and um, we'll get to three fours in a little while. What that means, that's the whole reason you get a quarter tone guitar. Okay, so that's minor diatonic scale. Phrygian pattern. That's where you go up a half tone from octave down a whole tone. Right, um, so on um, the pattern. So root and the minor second. And you have a minor third. So you jump two frets to here. Four more to get here. A total of six. Six quarters and six fourths, you know, when you can't fret from the root, and then four up to get to the fourth, which is, of course, the same as the next string. Okay, Phrygian scale. 
And of course it's like... Stuff like that. Okay. Dorian is essentially a minor scale where um, you go up uh, the note that used to be here moves up a half tone. So from the fifth, you go up a whole tone. Okay, um, it's a little closer to being a, somewhere between minor and major in that sense. Um, Okay, Biathi, this is where you have something that only shows up on quarter tone guitar. This is where you do a jump of three, and whenever you do a jump of three frets, you always do two of them in a row, because that adds up to a minor third, right? So, three fourths plus three fourths, six fourths, okay? And this gives you a unique sound. Um, very much a common kind of sound in Arabic music, although they, they tune things a little more finely than quarter tones, but this is a very good first step. essentially going to build all your scales out of little um, chains of jumps that are whole tones and half tones and neutral, I guess I'll call them neutral tones. Um, so the pattern is going up two whole tones and it being a major third. Yes. minor thirds. You can do that anywhere on the fretboard. You can go up four frets for your whole tone, and two tones for your half tone. So your scale B. Um, notice I'm not really paying attention to the whole scale, I'm, really, I'm only paying attention to like the bottom half of it. Um, because the whole idea is you don't really have scale when you're doing quarter tone stuff. You, you string together lots of little short scales, you know, like two, three minutes long. So a classic example, this is the one where you um, starting to root, skip three frets again, um, skip three frets twice. shape everywhere. What's important is shape, not absolute scales, especially note names. You really don't need to use that names. Okay, so this is an example of a scale where I jump up a whole tone, jump up a half tone, and then jump up another um, minor third and then another uh, neutral third and, and um, yeah. whole tone. Neutral, neutral. That's um. And this just happened to add up 
to the fourth. So it's important that when you take some sequence of whole, half, and neutral seconds, um, that they add up to a fourth. Um, and typically, if you're going to have one neutral, you're going to have another one right next to it. So you can have either. Jump up four, and you have six frets left, and you have multiple ways that you can split it. You can do two and four like that's like a you know, it would be like the Phrygian shape, or you can have four and then two. Ambiguous, where you got this major, this uh, minor third. You maybe you want to split it up exactly, so you cut minor third exactly in half. Okay. So the whole reason the, the minor third. Um, um, usually it comes into existence is you have a pentatonic scale. So if you have a pentatonic and then you jump up a six. power chord, right, you're going to move up four frets. So you get a whole tone and a whole tone and a whole tone and three different strings. But where you have this mi minor third, you got six frets and you can split them up three different ways. You do the Phrygian type of split, which is... Or you can do the minor scale type split where you get the bigger one in the bottom. Or you do a neutral split where you cut the minor third in half. Okay, so the whole point is you, you, you basically have a pentatonic chord that's a skeleton that everything is based around. And if I'm putting a focus on, say, this minor third, that note. Okay, there's a fourth up above it, which is like a power chord that's adjacent. So that would kind of tell you that, that you might want to play that as one of the notes that you use to fill in the two missing notes in a pentatonic scale. Right, because um, pentatonic scale got five notes. And where are the other two? Um, the other two are choices is you use to either pick like a Dorian scale or Phrygian scale or a normal minor scale. Okay, so in that case, I have the fifth. You know, my, you know, I chose a minor six by going up a half tone. And of course that matches up with the minor here below it, so it emphasizes it. So 
on this thing, I can do like a minor skip. And of course, it, it uh, kind of attaches to the fifth on the next string up above it, because that's a power chord. So it's kind of natural to play a minor scale for that reason. And of course, you could go up a whole tone. note here attaches to the minor second. So when you play in a door and you kind of emphasize the, uh, the, the you know, this, this note. So if you're on D, you would be emphasizing E by picking door E. Emphasizing the minor sixth. Say that you want to only emphasize the pentatonic chord, but you don't really want to match up with anything else. That's where the, the neutral thirds come in. pattern is kind of interesting because you have okay, so, this so if you start with a almost like a Phrygian scale and then the next string you do the neutral so minor second Next string up, you do neutral second. And up here, you do major second. So you're basically moving it up one fret when you go up one string. So you go. So this little. Now you notice that pattern when you're playing these kinds of scales. So that gives you a, a lot more scales to work with. Um, so, um, so, so you usually stretch when you're when you want to emphasize either this note or this note in a, in a minor third apart. If melodically the guy in between is just a passing note and you're going up. You'll typically want to use the neutral for that. Da -da -da. Phrygian type a second because you're going to go back down to C. Like, because what you're doing is you have another minor third interval from here to here. It would be from C to um, E flat. Except the root pitch is a guy in between those, the D. So, He's not going to be a neutral interval. Uh, 
want me to go and be like this. Yeah, so the, the, the kind of stereotypical phrase right Right, you wouldn't choose a the, you wouldn't choose a neutral because that makes your root note a quarter flat. Because this is your root note. Okay. You wouldn't really do that unless you're basically modulating into this. So as soon as you hear that neutral second, that either means you're emphasizing the guy that's down here. Or the guy is like a, because you're either gonna you're gonna start on this one or start in this one. You know, start in on both these guys and this guy in the kind of like passing. You know? All right. Okay. Now, now that you have these little scale pieces, the whole idea is you build scales out of little chunks. So if we find an area of the fretboard. And this is a minor third wide. So from here, that's a fourth wide. Normally, you know, like when you're on a guitar, you can span, f you know, four or five frets. Um, so you typically want to play within a minor third. So since that's our center, and that's a third above it, we may want to make this guy neutral to emphasize the pentatonicness of it. And in fact, when you when I'm going up, I'm going to make it neutral, and when I'm going down, I can make it flat, which is a phenomenon you see in harmonic minor scales. And sometimes I just want to make it minor. Because I'm kind of emphasizing that, that half tone just above it. And I'm going to end the video before it's too big to upload in the first place. Maybe make a part two if I have to.